Good morning. Hope you're having a good day. I'm going to show you how to make what I'm calling soft tags. And um, we're just going to start this and, and um, you'll get the hang of it. Okay. So what I have out in front of me is cloth strips. Now this stuff comes, it's actually the material that uh, other women, not me, <laughs> use to um, wax their legs. And uh, it comes in a big thick roll. I think I paid three dollars Canadian, three fifty Canadian for it. Uh, so it comes in a couple of different sizes, but I think this is the widest one. And it's a nice sturdy cotton, a woven cotton. You can see here that it it'll fray if you if you fuss with it a bit. But uh, you know that that doesn't affect uh, what we're gonna do with it. Um, I uh, what I do is um, I cut it I cut it in strips and I paint it. And after it's painted, then you know um, we'll I'll show you how to do some other things with it. But in this first step, all we're gonna do is is paint it. So we're, um, uh, first thing to do is to wet it a bit. I find that the paint, uh, uh, you know, just kind of uh, gets into the material better than if you, um, if you don't wet it. I've tried both ways. I just, I flip them over and then I do them again. There's, I think there's a little bit of some kind of sizing in them. Um, I don't know what it is exactly because they're a little bit stiff but not much. You can see I already managed to get paint on this one. But that's okay, because we're going to paint them. All right, so then I have a, a, have a, a dish of paint over to the side here, and I'm just going to reach in and, uh, and, and start working. I'm going to... Uh, I think it's a good idea to have more than one color on them, that's a personal preference though, obviously. You could paint them one solid color, depending on what your project is. But um, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, start with some nice uh, turquoise white and white. Um, this is, and the, the another color I'm going to add is a cerulean blue. And I just, just, kind of messing around. I'm this is no big deal here. Um, you know, whatever looks nice to you, whatever feels right. It's just a, it's really a messing around process. And the, uh, the more artistic stuff comes uh, later, I think. These, this is a little <coughs> silver. I find they, if you put a little shine on them, they have a little excuse me, a little sparkle to them that uh, kind of makes them more interesting uh, in the end. Uh, there's no reason to um, to paint them right to the edge unless of course that's something you want to do. Uh, these ones I think I will because I think I'm going to um, it's you know what I'm going to use them for. So yeah, again, it's just, it's a real simple process. We're just gonna uh, paint them, put some, put some color on them to start, and uh, then we're gonna leave them dry. And once they're dry, um, we can, we'll come back and, and do some more stuff with them. Um, but right now, process pretty much complete. You can see it. That took a long time, didn't it? But uh, then we're, uh, once we're done with them, we have them to make embellishments of all kinds. Uh, you know, tags or, uh, or uh, you know, uh, add uh, focal points for uh, journal pages. Um, you know, they would make really nice um, bindings on uh, on homemade journals. I think they would be fun for that too. Very artistic, I think. Anyway, my dears, I will uh, 
I'll see you back at the next step. Right now, I'm just going to wash my hands because they have always, I can't do anything with paint without getting stuff on my hands. And I will see you back in the next step. Okay, so here we are back again in our strips of, um, of uh, cloth are, are uh, uh, completely dry. And I've cut this one into the general um, uh, size of a uh, shape of a tag, you know, traditional size of a tag. Uh, I'm missing the hole. I need to go get my punch. But um, they are, um, and you can, of course, you can make them any size you want. You can make them extra long, which, you know, can be interesting. You could, because it's cloth, you know, you could you could cut it. You can't really tear it because the cloth is, you know, once it's got paint on it, it's not going to tear. And it's such a tightly woven cotton that I don't think it would tear uh, even without the paint. Um, so I'm going to start decorating this, and uh, we'll see how we go. I'm, I have Gina's, uh, one of Gina's wonderful stamp sets here, and we're, we're uh, Gina B. Aaron's, and she, um, she sells many stamps. I happen to have this, this one, uh, I believe it's number three. And I'll link her her uh, Etsy stop, shop and and er, other places you can uh, reach her on the. Oh, isn't that pretty? Very delicate. Isn't that nice? And um, uh, uh, in the description box below. Uh, yeah, that wasn't what was supposed to happen. I have a little butterfly here that I would like to take off. It's a little dimensional butterfly. And I believe I got them in the dollar store, but I might have bought them at Michael's. Might have. Might have, might have. Not sure. Nothing fancy here. You know, nothing, you know, outrageously expensive or anything. So you can see this. You could bend those, those wings up a bit so that they show better. Um, and I think I might put a little, uh, a little word in there. Kind of did that backwards. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, let's get this. There. Okay. And uh, this didn't take as well as I would have liked, so uh, I might uh, go in again with a pen and, um, and um, fix that. You see me? Oh, my stuff's all over the place here. There we go. And that's the nice thing about this material. You know, you can you can put anything you uh want on it, you know. This these are just uniball uh pens so nothing fancy um, I bought a colored set some years ago they've lasted me forever I'm just reinforcing some of those lines and uh, and I'll be back in a sec